This isn't funny. Okay. Fire Gaskin, full <laughs> upon you right now. Yes. It's gonna go right within your heart. Yeah, right within your heart. Here it comes, here it comes. More. More, more God. More. more. Yeah. It's time for Wretched. Hello, and welcome to our Wretched. My name is Todd Friel. I am your host, the Wretch. The song refers to number one. We do not hate charismatics. If you agree on the essentials of the faith, but you and I have some differences on secondary things like gifts, cessationism, speaking in tongues, we can still love each other, can't we? I love you. I don't believe in speaking in tongues, but if you agree on the essentials, we are in the faith. We can have fellowship one with the other, and we can love one another. Number two, every denomination Every movement has its problems. We just, that's just the way that it is. If you're really conservative, you've got ditches. If you're really liberal, you've got ditches. We all have ditches, and you have heard us plenty of times here at Wretched point a finger at ourselves saying, here's the problem with us. We are an equal opportunity offender, if you will. Having said all of that, my dear charismatic friend, you, you got something big that's problematic inside of your denomination that is going on. Remember, we've got ours. I think you got a big one going on here. I wonder if we've been a little bit asleep at the switch, looking at the emergent, emergent danger and paying a lot of attention to that postmodern movement, while there has been another movement that has been exploding, not just in America, but around the globe, and it comes out of the charismatic movement specifically out of something called the New Apostolic Reformation, the NAR, or IHOP, the International House of Prayer. These are branches off of the charismatic movement that are growing. They are huge. Don't believe me? Here's an event that was done in Chicago. This travels all over the globe. It's called Jesus Culture. It came out of one church in the town of Redding, California, a population of 100,000. This is one of their events, one in Chicago. It's huge! The fellow with the arms out is a part of the Jesus culture. It came out of Bethel Church in Redding, California. It's headed by Pastor Bill Johnson, who also happens to have a school of supernatural ministry. What exactly are the kids taught at the supernatural school? Uh, stuff like this. Here we go, Lonnie. Here it comes. Here comes the fire. <sighs> I see like green flames now. You were green on your arm before, bro. That's so crazy. Lonnie, <laughs> 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 yeah. I prophesy that the fire of God's gonna fall upon you right now. Yes. It's gonna go right within your heart. Yes, God. Right within your heart. God. Here it comes. Let your fire fall. Oh, Jesus. 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 Here it comes. Here it comes. More. More, more God. More. more. Yeah. Life changing, Father. Yeah, more. don't let us off, God. More, yeah. more, change him That's inside, inside and out. You should blow him in. Ignite the fire. You should blow the horn over him? Yeah. I'm gonna blow the horn over you, Lonnie. I'm gonna blow the horn over you. Shara baba. Shara baba. Shara More, God. More! Andrew Strom, 
himself a charismatic, went about the business of trying to research just what exactly is going on here. I first heard about this man, Rodney Howard Brown, in about 1993-94. He was holding huge meetings in the United States, very popular, and was starting to have a huge influence with his drunkenness. He called himself the Holy Ghost bartender, and he would lay hands on people, imparting to them this laughter, or he would wave his hands at people, and this laughter would overcome them, or shaking, or uncontrollable jerking. Uh, all these manifestations were starting to happen. And uh, he became huge in the word of faith, because he's a huge prosperity preacher. So he uh, got himself on Kenneth Copeland's uh, television program, and you can see them behaving drunkenly on stage, live on television. Here's Rodney Howard Brown imparting uh, the spirit of drunkenness and laughter into uh, some of the biggest leaders in Tulsa, Oklahoma, the biggest word of faith prosperity teachers. <laughs> a guy called Randy Clark came down, saw what was happening, got this impartation through the laying on of hands, got this anointing himself, and he took it into the vineyard movement. Now here is Todd Bentley explaining uh, how Randy Clark brought this in. He received a spark of the anointing in Tulsa and in Lakeland came down and just weeks later God used him as the fire starter for the Toronto outpouring and the Toronto blessing in January 1994 and we have here tonight Randy Clark and I asked him to come out dear Randy because I know you're a fire starter and you've been lighting fires all over the world so it entered into the Toronto Airport Vineyard Church and so it became known as the Toronto Blessing. Went worldwide under that name, the Toronto Blessing. Everybody knew what that was about. People falling down, acting drunken, laughing hysterically, shaking uncontrollably, or uh, jerking backwards and forwards, their, their head shaking back and forth. People even roaring like lions. People making animal noises. Um, you know, this stuff had not been seen in the church. I mean, it may be in a tiny way on the fringes. This stuff had never been seen in the church on this scale before, and it invaded worldwide. So all around the world, especially in the Commonwealth countries, we're talking England and all through the UK, Australia, New Zealand, uh, Canada, and many other nations all over the world, all through Europe, all of the charismatic movement was into this stuff uh, for the large part. And so this thing became a worldwide sensation just in a couple of years. Yeah, and it's possible. It's hard to measure these things. This could be the fastest growing version of Christianity in the world. When we come back, uh, we will share more disturbing footage from Andrew, Andrew Strom himself, a charismatic who is deeply and I believe rightly concerned about what is going on inside of the charismatic movement. Next on Wretched.